Welcome back to another video. A new look channel, a new name for the channel. Ryan Hunter, that's me. Yorkshire Lad Outdoors is no more, especially on YouTube, still exists over on Instagram. So if you wanna go check out the camping and outdoor activities, go give me a follow over on Instagram. Um, but the focus of this channel is primarily gonna to shift towards kind of photography. I've mentioned it in videos in the past that I am uh, moving towards being a professional photographer, moving away from the corporate life. So I wanna use this channel to kind of document that journey and as a creative outlet for me to kind of progress as a creator and as a photographer and to sh share it with you guys and to kind of take you along the way um, and give you some insight into my photography. Um, it's not gonna be an education channel. Um, there's tons of education channels out there. And to be quite honest with you, I'm fairly new to the game. Two or three years as a professional photographer um, does not cut it when you look at the professionalism of some people who've been doing this for 10, 15, 20 years. So what I will do is I will share insight into my thinking and my creative style um, and take you along on f photo shoots with me as I will in this video when we go into Leeds and you can kind of see what my thinking is around when I'm doing street photography and how I like to compose shots and kind of my creative style. So I will take you on those journeys with me um, kind of behind the scenes of some of my shoots coming up um, maybe even put you on top of the camera at a wedding um, in the future as well but it's all around kind of creating content around photography and my growth into this profession and I can't wait to do that. Um, it's not to say there won't be any outdoor content on here. Ironically, I'm going camping on Friday, so uh, Saturday. So I'm probably gonna take my camera along with me there and probably make a video as well. So um, there'll still be outdoor content on this channel, but it's gonna be, as I say, focused towards photography. So if you have subscribed in the past for the outdoor lifestyle and wild camping, um, I completely appreciate if this channel is no longer for you. Um, so if you do decide to unsubscribe and no longer follow my journeys, just thank you so much. Uh, for following me in the past. It really has meant an awful lot to build up my subscribers. Um, and yeah, it's meant it's meant the world for you to watch the video. So thank you very much. If you are sticking around and you want to follow the photography content, thank you very much as well. But please like and subscribe as well if you're new to the channel. Uh, but without further ado, let's get into leads. I'll say the GoPro is on my chest um, and let's go do some street photography. So after dropping my car off at the garage, I walk down to the bus stop to catch the good old loser cruiser into Leeds city center. Um, not the most enjoyable journey. Someone let off the most vile smell sat next to me, but such is life. So headed into Kirkgate Market. I've uh, not been here for so many years. I think it was when I was a kid, I used to come here with my mum. But yeah, gorgeous blue skies, harsh, harsh light, deep shadows, perfect conditions for what I was after today in street photography. First shot of the day is a bit of a test shot. I kind of saw a bit of a, I suppose, juxtaposition between the kind of the market stall that you see in front of us here and then the like John Lewis and the Victoria building in the background. I don't know, kind of high-end retail versus low-end retail. Um, and then you've got the street vendor here, so a bit of a story to the shop, but nothing special, but good to get one straight off the bat. Sad to see not that many stalls open and thriving on the market. It used to be absolutely booming. But this was um, quite a nice scene that I saw here. I was going for symmetry in this shot, and I love how this guy in the middle is flanked by the army uniforms on either side of him and then you've also got the two people facing in to form that bit of a triangle composition in the middle so it's quite a nice symmetrical shot um, the shame the colors went a bit more vibrant but um, i love the composition composition all the same yeah and just look how bare the market stalls are and there's just no one around and granted this was half nine in the morning but Shame to see it on a Friday morning, not that busy. So here, this little stall, the GoPro doesn't expose it very well, but this was just shrouded in really nice light. No real composition here, but I just loved that harsh light and the shadow in there. So turn it black and white, get some nice contrast. Not a great image, but again, shows off the contrast between the highlights and the dark shadows which is what I'm looking for on today's street session. 
So heading outside, I kind of saw this doorway that was casting a really bright light and you can see the kind of darkness in the background. Um, I was going to catch this girl walking into the light and then this lorry drove straight through. Cheers lads. And not to worry, I got someone coming out of the scene. Um, again, just exposing for those highlights. Uh, nothing special, but nice light. So oh, sorry, go. let's take some. <laughs> I think images should have good light, good story, or good composition. If you get all three, you've got an absolute winner. I think if you've got one of those three, then it's worth taking a shot. So I feel like I had the good light here. Um, something about these bins caught my eye. Looking back now, I have no idea what it was that caught my eye about them. Maybe the vibrant red and the green. And they kind of created a frame in my head uh, for the scene. Um, you'll see from the next image that they didn't create any frame, they just created clutter in the foreground. But I wanted to get this guy walking into that kind of geometric light. But he was too tall. Um, the next guy walking through again, I just wanted to capture him within that triangle of light in the doorway. But it didn't really work. Um, inside the Victoria Quarter, the light and the pastels in these images i just really love i love this image it's got kind of a wes anderson vibe about it a perfect symmetry and again this just feels almost cinematic with the pastels and i just really like those images again in the victoria quarter we've got a nice scene here with this lady reading her paper and the stained glass windows in the background again some nice symmetry to this image would have been nice to have someone on the left to balance it out but a nice image all the same Here again you can see the light and the entrance to this. Probably could have worked this scene a little bit harder. Uh, I just wanted to capture someone coming through that frame and into that light as you can see here with this, this bloke. I think it looks nice in black and white or colour. Let me know in the comments which one you prefer. Um, and then I've got this lady walking through as well which is framed between those two pillars. Um, so not bad images there again i think it was mainly the light that makes that no real great composition probably could have worked the scene a little bit harder i'm quite happy with this image i love the contrast of her kind of purple hair against the green in the background i also like the kind of the the story of this image it feels like the poster is looking down on this lady on the kind of the image of the poster is also quite a high fashion brand so it feels like kind of looking down figuratively and kind of metaphorically and the next image i didn't capture on the gopro but i'll share it anyway um, quite like it. It feels pretty cinematic with the kind of the green shadows, kind of Jeremy Snell esque. Um, if you don't follow him on Instagram, go check him out. He's an amazing photographer, kind of a cinematographer, and a lot of his images are stills from his cinema camera. Um, really great account and incredible. So I was going for symmetry in this image. Didn't really work because of the column on the right hand side could have done with something on the left to balance it out um, and I think it was not perfectly symmetrical it looks really off but I really like kind of the highlights that have been cast on the wall in the background and the, and the shadows in this image um, there's something there if I'd hung around a, bit, a little bit longer uh, but security was sniffing around caffeine break Labatega go check them out um, awesome latte and this girl was sat in nice light again in black and white okay this scene here was one that i kind of worked for quite a while i was focusing my attention on the top balcony you can see here from this image i wanted to capture kind of the the grandeur of the building in the background but they also frame a subject in one of the window panels so kind of a frame within a frame and then with the photo again in the background so i think there's quite nice layers to this picture so i hung around for quite a while to capture this um, the shot here of the girl with the headphones on just missed out on the framing of her but then this guy watched me looking at his phone which I captured quite nicely 
Um, so really quite like this image and, and worked this scene pretty hard. This, um, trying to capture this horse framing someone walking through that scene in the background, which I've got here, but there was no real contrast to this lady's clothing on the kind of flowery, flowery background. Um, again, just nice light, nothing really to write home about. And then that was it. I was heading back down to the bus to go collect the car. Um, just a nice shot of the lead streets. And it was home time. Hello again. And that was that. Good couple of hours in Leeds with street photography. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you want to stick around for more content like this, uh, coming thick and fast throughout the year, please give me a like and subscribe to the channel. And leave a comment down below. I'd love to know what you think of the new format. Um, and where the channel's going. But for everyone who's followed in the past and for all the people continuing to follow, thank you so much. And as always, I'll um, see you on the next one. Cheers. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and I get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and I get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus.